In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a vertical video and expand out the frame to make a widescreen or different ratio of video. So in this case, I'm just using this vertical video. Now, the one trick about this is it works in this case with a still tripod shot, so like a still motion shot and the subject is moving within it and also like his legs aren't cut off. So there's some restrictions that you might want to think about that will make this work better than others. But what we're going to do is take a still frame of this image. So to do that in Premiere Pro, we can export a frame with this camera button or Shift E, name it whatever you want. Just make sure to import it back into your project. And when you have that in your project media panel, you can right click on it, scroll all the way down and edit in Photoshop. So this will open up your frame in Photoshop. And from here, you can grab the crop tool. I'm going to type in in the tool, top toolbar a resolution of 1920 by 1080, just a standard HD size. And I'll expand out this widescreen ratio to fill out this border. I'm going to center it, but you actually don't have to expand that way. You can expand out any way that you want. And in the top toolbar, I'm also going to choose generative expand as the fill method. And I'll press check. If you want to give it a prompt, you can try to like import some things like rainy day or something like that. But I'm just going to leave it blank so it just generates based on what it sees. And once that's done, we have a generated fill layer here. And also in the generative layer, you can choose between a couple different variations. So if there's something weird going on, you can always try a different variation. They all look pretty comparable for me. So I'll just stick with the first one. And then I'm going to simply close and save this somewhere so I can open it back up into our Premiere project. So I saved it on my desktop and I can literally just click and drag it into my project. And you can choose to select the layers or whatever. I guess if you wanted to just save it as a PNG, you could do that as well. But now I'm going to start a new composition. So I'm going to go to File, New, Sequence. And I'm going to just choose a 1920 by 1080 clip. So HD 1080p. Um, you can also right click on that new Photoshop document and choose new sequence from clip as well if you want it to be in exactly those dimensions. But you just want to be careful like in the info that you actually have created the ratio that you want. So on this blank sequence that I created, I can drag in that Photoshop file and I can expand it out to be as long as I want. This is just a still frame. And I can just drag my original video clip on top of that. So I, I'm going to resize it a bit so it's not taller than the other one. I can use my arrow up and down keys to get it to match. Now there is one thing going on here, which it's a bit hard to avoid. The exposure in the original video is changing from bright to dark. So one way I can try to combat this is by adjusting my brightness and contrast as the video goes on of, let's say, the background image. So I can go to the Lumetri color panel, open the basic correction section, and in the effect controls panel on this screenshot, I can find the uh, exposure, for example, maybe contrast or more things, add a keyframe on them, and maybe just barely adjust things, maybe holding command and up and down arrow for, for some exact precision as things get, get to a sort of bright patch there. I can try to match that in the background. And avoiding this in camera when you shoot is probably the simplest solution, but we're dealing with real life here. So I'm showing you some tools that you can try to go for. So this is one thing that's going to help. As you can see, I'm just just adjusting the exposure by like 0.1 as it's fluctuating. You'd have to fiddle with it to get it perfect. And then the other thing I'm going to do is actually feather this a bit. So feather the top video that is. So I can add a mask on the opacity like this or and, and obviously adjust out these points and then add a feather. Or in this case, since it's a simple border, I can find the crop tool and drag that on here. And in the crop effect, I can just use some edge feathering. So 
Let's see what this looks like. Let's crop in the left just a couple percent. We don't want to cut off any body parts or limbs. Crop in the right. Oops, the top doesn't necessarily matter. Crop in the right a bit. And that feather is also going to help um, in distinguishing that border. And you're also probably going to want to go back in Photoshop, try to take care of things like that shadow. Maybe in this case, I could nest everything together. So right click nest and crop in a bit if I don't want to deal with that shadow. And for example, if I wanted to even try to sell the effect a bit more, I can add some zooming or panning of this shot so it doesn't appear like it was really just still frame. I can slowly zoom in. So now this shot looks like a, I'm even zooming in there and it'd be hard to guess that this was originally a vertical video like this. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe for more. My name is Justin Odisho. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.